Welcome to the Belfer Show, eh? Friggin' right, boys and girls. I've been busy this weekend, I have, so I didn't do much video in yesterday because I haven't friggin' stopped, eh? Hopefully everybody's having a good weekend like me. Started splitting the old wood there yesterday. Got some of that split up. Still got quite a bit to do, eh? Friggin' ready to do, and the birds shit all over my log splitter. Why wouldn't they? What's really going on, birds? Eh? There must be a friggin' nest here somewhere. Open my mouth, why wouldn't I, eh? Yesterday, I got the pool going, I did freaking right oh I also got the swing set cut down got some old piping from the old solar heater there from the pool I built a new one boys girls peoples so I'm gonna go over this with you and I'll show you how I did it in case you have a pool at home and you want to do the same thing it's called a lot of ABS is what it's called inch and a half ABS boys is what I use for this project so if you go way back to my other videos there you'll see this pool and all the hoses and everything else all over the place I wanted to clean that up because it was looking stupid it was so this is what I've done and hopefully it helps you if you want to do something so I'm running a, a full-size pump pool pump I am full-size above ground pool pump with a sand filterage but what I've done is I've found a fitting these little gray fittings one inch fitting fits into these pools so I was able to get three one inch and I made myself a one connection and these pools normally have two outlets and one inlet I used all the, the ports as an outlet for this pump because it takes a lot of water. Freaking right it does. So I made this part here, also line, one hose off it into the pump, which is decent. The only thing I forgot is I forgot to put my ball valve in for the vacuum. So I'll have to drain her after because I shocked her and I don't want to friggin' drain her right now because it's shocked. But I gotta cut this and put a ball valve in it so I can run my vacuum. So we'll do that in the video when come. Freaking right we will. The inlet now, it goes into a piece PV or ABS. It goes along here like so, right? Like so. It goes all the way around the front of the pool, boys. Freaking right it does. Look at that, eh? And I use black, because black likes sun, and sun heats up water in black. So that's why we use black. But it goes up here, and then I made myself this friggin' solar heater, boys. So how I did this is normally when you bake a solar heater, the water goes in, down, in, down, and whatever, right? I made it different. So I made it so it comes in and it goes across and it has to move the water up all these pipes and then back to the pool. The reason why I did that is to slow down the water flow coming up because if you split inch and a half into six inch and a half, it will slow the water flow down, but the pressure will be the same, if you know what I mean. Hopefully you understand that, because if you don't, then you're just cocked over. And if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But that's the way I look at it. So the water comes in and slowly pushes it through all these tubes. And it's definitely moving because you can feel it. And actually, the sun's not even out today. And boys, I'm telling you, that's warm to the touch. Friggin' right it is. So then it comes out of there. It goes around the side. And then it goes into my outlet tube, which is also black to help heat the water. Hey, look at that thing, boys. I gotta do some tidying up, I know. Zip ties everywhere. But I'll tell you one thing, it's nice walking back here with no hoses all over the place. And it rained like a mother last night, so the ground's really wet today. Look, there's still sitting water. Holy. If you got yourself a cheap pool, and you wanna friggin' make a cheap toller kinda heater deal, that's the way to do it, boys. And look at that, eh? That's decent. We gotta clean up around here. It's just a mess. Yesterday, I just went crazy. I was log splitting building stuff and everything is just left out hanging around now that is but don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button if you like that idea and i'll let you know how it works friggin right but it's gonna work decent because i built it why wouldn't it but there's some hoses i gotta clean up take the clamps off and i want to save all the fittings and stuff like that and throw the rest in the garbage garbagey friggin right it's garbagey well i added a little black tarpage in front of the heater because as you know they're best on a roof, but I'm not putting on my new roof. Not a chance happening. No way, boys. So I just added a tarp. I wish I had a little bit longer tarp. Then I would have been able to cover the whole thing. But hey, she is what she is. She is. She's definitely warm. And the sun's not even out. It's definitely warming up. Ooh, it looks like we got a storm coming, boys. Hey, okay. Freaking right we do. What are you doing? You out and about? Hey? You out and about? Would you mind? Well, boys and girls, that's about all I have for you today. Friggin' right it is. It's getting cold out again. And he's supposed to go down to like 46 tonight, so I had to put a sw I had to put a long sleeve on. I did. Frig! Look what I'm having for dinner. Why wouldn't I? A little flamingo on the old barbecue. A little flamingo. Friggin' right it is.
But anyways, this is just a short little video, just to give you another update. I like short little videos. Oh, friggin' North Wind right off the lake, boys. She's friggin' J-A-A-A-L-E. But anyways, hopefully everybody had a good weekend like I did, and kept way too busy like I did. And, uh, you know what to do for now.